Hey everybody, it's Susan with Athlean XX for Women. Today we're going to be doing five core strengthening exercises. Okay, you guys, we're going to work on five core strengthening exercises today. All you're really going to need is maybe a Swiss ball and a mat. Um, what I love about these exercises is it really concentrates on getting a lot of the deep core stabilizers and just really hits the entire core. When a lot of times people think core is this, but it's actually here and here. So we're gonna really strengthen everything today. This first, first exercise is one that I use pretty much every time I go in the gym and I'm gonna start my ab workout. This is great for just activating my lower core, my lower abs here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your foot on the ball other leg's going to be up in the air. Think about driving your heel into the ball as you raise and lift and rotate your hips towards your face. So you're going to lift, and I just have a slight pelvis rotation with my, with my pelvis rotating towards me, and I'm really concentrating on you using those low, that lower core. So normally with these, when you're just starting to strengthen, you're just gonna do maybe five to seven. I want you to just relax for a second. And then we're gonna do the other leg, really digging the heel into the ball, lifting and rotating our hip, our pelvis area. Then I usually just kind of let that sit for a second and then I do both at the same time. And I'm really thinking about pulling that pelvis in towards my face. and you'll really feel this. This is so good for, once again, activating and strengthening. If you don't really have the strength in your lower core down and through here, it really leaves your lower back susceptible. Okay, our next exercise, Swiss ball rollout. So what you're gonna do is you can either do these on the ground if you're just starting. You're basically just gonna roll out and come back up. Roll out. And up. so really think about tightening the core to protect your lower back. So once again, we're just rolling out and up. For a little bit more advanced group, I usually do these where I stand, I roll out, I'll hold for a second, I roll back up. Sometimes if you're a little bit more advanced, you can raise a leg. You can hold that for a few seconds. I'll raise my other leg back down, back to start. There's a lot of variations here. Sometimes I'll move the ball around because it really makes your core fight to keep that stability. And back up. Super great, really works here. Once again, we're now engaging the back of our core, which is critical because if you do everything here, nothing here, things are gonna get off balance. Okay, next we're gonna go into side plank touchdowns. Let's get rid of that. Now we're gonna hit our obliques. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lay on the mat on your elbow. This hand is gonna go up and overhead. We're gonna lift up, we're gonna lower twice. Bring our knee in, back to start. Two, knee. One, two, knee. So with these, you can do anywhere from maybe 10 to 12 reps on each side. And you'll really feel these. These are so good for the obliques. Probably one of my favorite exercises. And of course, we're gonna rotate to the other side. Okay, next we're gonna go into rollback jacks. What I love about rollbacks, people are like, why do you throw the rollback in there? Because it really shows where you're at, where your core is. It takes core to get your body to roll forward. So once we roll, roll up, get on our feet, we're just gonna kick our feet out simultaneously, five, five jacks. So we're gonna roll back, pop up, not all the way up though, like that. You're gonna pop back, one, two, three, four, five, go back to start. We're gonna roll up, Stay low, one, two, 
three, four, five. Back to start. So now with those, really think about keeping your feet together. Uh, that helps protect your knees. Rolling up, kicking your feet out. Once again, keep a nice tight core when you're doing your jack to protect your lower back. Okay, last we're gonna do V-up turns. So we're gonna go from a regular V-up right into a lateral V-up. So we're just gonna lay on the ground. We're gonna reach up, back down, immediately turn to the side. So we're gonna do six, and then we're gonna rotate to the other side, and we're gonna do six on our other side. So what's great about all of these is we're not really using any weights. We're not necessarily thinking about building, even though this will eventually build a bit because of these body weight exercises. But you really have to think about strengthening before you add a lot of the weight in there. You wanna make sure you have a nice Good stabilization system down, a nice strong core. All right, you guys, I hope you put these in your workout. They're great. They'll really give you that foundation you're looking for. Hey, check out athletexxforwomen.com. Maybe you wanna add in upper body today, maybe a good leg workout. Check it out, there's some great workouts, really good trainers. You guys can't miss by checking it out. Hey, hit that subscribe button, the like button, Leave us comments, and I can't wait to work out with you guys soon. See you later.